Welcome to Night Shadows. I'm Stuart Best. Where the paranormal is normal. Where that which you thought you knew, you didn't. And where the future can be known, if you know exactly where to look. Well, good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning in and listening to this Flash update. Uh, <clears throat> a lot actually was said by General Kelly this afternoon, and also George W. Bush made a few remarks. And uh, anyway, we got Larry on board tonight. Hi, Larry. How are you doing? Hey, Stuart. Thanks for having me. Okay, General Kelly. Um, He made some rather, I would say, very, very strange but truthful remarks to the nation. What was your take on what he said? I I believe the Lord was behind it, actually. It sounded like uh, he delivered a judgment, basically, to uh, mainstream media, Congress, the left, the deep state. The whole ball of wax, uh, a very somber dressing down uh, he gave them. And uh, this was over, of course, the the, uh, congresswoman's uh, remarks and outrage uh, when she overheard a uh, private discussion between President Trump and one of the slain uh, troopers from, uh, I think it was Niger, was where he was Mm -hmm. killed with three others. But uh, it, I call it a dressing down, and I, I agree with you. It's uh, it, matter of fact, uh, it almost brought tears to my eyes as I listened and I watched him, and I thought uh, this is very unusual. Yeah, let me. Uh, we we got some of what he said here. Uh, we took it off the web. Who are these young men and women? They are the best one percent this country produces. Most Americans don't know them. Many don't know anyone who knows any one of them, but they are the very best this country produces and volunteer to protect our country. And this is the important part of what he said. When there's nothing, note the word nothing, in our country anymore that seems to suggest its self-service to the nation, is not only appropriate, but required. That's all right. Um, I think he's telling us that America's over and done with. And I think the Lord used him. I mean, here he is. I mean, this is a top-ranking retired general saying, well, America, Babylon's basically useless. To the world anymore. There's nothing here to uh, <clears throat> to go out and fight for. Basically, is that how you took it? I mean, that's basically what he says. There's nothing in our country anymore that seems to suggest that self-service to the nation is not only appropriate but required. Wow. Well, sure. I would I would have to say that if you was in his place and you looked out across America. And there were no patriotic people standing up for what is right. No, no people standing up for what is right, except the military, basically, and the law enforcement, who everybody in America seems to hate. And you don't have any Americans get off the couch and say any different. There are no voices out there. And when's the last time you heard the church in America in an outrage over what is being done in this country. So I'm, I, 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 I look at myself and I wonder, you know, I spent years in the military, I spent years in law enforcement, and I survived it. And I look back now and I think, was that just a total waste of my time? Uh, yeah. Well, here's something else he says. It stuns me that a member of Congress would have listened in on that conversation. Absolutely stuns me. And I thought that the, at least that was sacred. Um, 
You know, when I was a kid growing up, a lot of things were sacred in our country. Women were sacred, looked upon with great honor. That's obviously not the case anymore. As we see from recent cases, life, the dignity of life, is sacred. That's gone. Religion, that seems to be gone as well. Well, you remember what the Lord said, a nation that forgets God is turned into hell. And I think yeah. that's what that warning was. You know, you know, Stuart, that, that almost reminds me of uh, the uh, X Factor woman that sang that song. It, it almost is, is the same level of, I guess you could say, uh, it's almost like a word of knowledge. It's just addressing down and saying, America... You are not what you should be, and there's a penalty to pay. Yeah, I mean, uh, coming c- coming really right out of the White House, uh, that uh, that was a shocking uh, dressing down, not only of Congress, but of everybody, basically. I think he included just about everybody in those remarks. We're yeah, not and who, who would have known? Yeah, who would have? Yeah. Who would have ever thought? that someone from the White House, that the chief of staff of the White House, would step out into that press room and deliver that message. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I think that's from the Lord myself. I think the Lord put that in his heart. He said he had to go out and walk around for about an hour and a half in, in Arlington Cemetery, where he also said, I put some of these boys and girls that are in these graves here. So you can imagine what was going through his mind to hear this communist, and that's what they are. These people are all communists, and we're in the middle and final phase of a communist coup. And uh, the American people just don't seem to be able to get off their couch to do anything. Uh, And it has always amazed me that they'll send their sons and daughters off to war to get their legs blown off or their arms blown off or killed or changed in many, many ways, saying they're sending them there, you know, to defend the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the freedom we have. And yet, in the middle of Washington, with Obama, was stealing every freedom we ever had, and yet the American people didn't seem to do much about it. Oh, they put in Trump, but it's, in my opinion, and I think Major, Major, um, General Kelly may have been telling us it's too late. You know, you may what do you be think? right. I sure. think there was a message uh, I, there. Yeah, I, you may be exactly right in your interpretation of that message. Uh, he could have just literally been telling the American people, you know, it's just really too late. And uh, what's interesting, too, he also did this on a day that not only that actually two ex-presidents come out and attack the sitting president, Donald Trump. Uh, you know, number one was uh, George W. Bush, number 43. He came yes. out and, and basically, uh, you know, he says that America has lost its identity in the Trump era. I got news for that guy. Trump is only into his his uh, his administration. He's only been in nine months. What ha- what about the eight years that Obama destroyed most of America and everything it stood for? Where's his well, voice about on George that? And where, w. Has himself? Voice, where has his voice been all of these years? Yeah, he's guilty too. And then, uh, of course, they say that now that Obama came out after. Uh, um, Bush came out and then delivered a message attacking Trump, and so Obama has officially stepped on the stage to attract Trump. I'll tell you what I think, Stuart, and I like your opinion. I'm beginning to think that this uh, uranium deal that involves uh, the Obama administration and, and, and two different DOJ uh, heads and Hillary and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I'm I'm thinking that if that begins to leak out like it has, they may be so scared that this may be coming out in front of the American people. They've got to stop this now because they're calling in the big guns. Yeah, they are. Uh, 
And I, th- I think that what we're watching here is Trump is attempting with his Make America Great Again to bring America back somewhat to the Constitution. And, of course, George W. Bush is a globalist, no question about it. His daddy is a globalist. In fact, he's one who was talking about the new world order. And, you know, before them, we, we, have, the, we have the Clintons and it and, uh, goes all the way back, I believe, to uh, Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson, who set up, you know, the banking elite. And it's the banking elite that runs everything now. Just exactly, by the way, that uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 28, folks, go in and read it, had the blessings, now we've got all the curses, and one of the main curses is international bankers who control everything we do. And I think they're getting ready for a reset and an economic collapse. Um uh, what else? We only got about five minutes, but we're going to have a longer show tomorrow night. Um, what do you think is going on with all of this? It, it just appears to me that America's going down, and we're being even warned by our leaders that America's going down. That's the way I read it anyway. Yeah, yeah I, th- I think you're right. Uh, it's very interesting that this uh... – of course, Yahoo News put out a post today, and it is getting into the mainstream a little, not much, uh, that uh, Trump has come out and, and announced that oh, the Obama-era uranium deal is the real Russia story and and ordering this to be released. And at the same time, Jeff Sessions, the uh, head of the Department of Justice, is hedging and hemming and hawing and trying to block uh, any of this information coming out, I mean, let me tell you, you know, like I said before, he's got deep state dripping all over him, you know, and oh, yeah. any American that can't see that needs to really wash his eyes out because it's very, very clear that Sessions is not doing his job. He's he's set in by the deep state to stay deep state, and actually everybody that is investigating Trump, Mueller, Rosenstein, um, mm-hmm. um um, uh, let's see, what is his name? The second in command of the FBI and all of these others. Uh, they're the ones after Trump, and, and mm-hmm. they're still there. And so, really, the deep state is still running every single thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I think. I want to briefly, and I'll get into this on Friday, <clears throat> but remember the shooter in Vegas? His name was Paddock. Now, they always do things by the numbers, and they select people by their names, even sheriff departments, et cetera, et cetera. Guess what the definition of a paddock is? A usually enclosed area used especially for pasturing or exercising animals, such as lead the sheep into the paddock, especially in a closure where racehorses are saddled and paraded before a race. Now, remember the Triple Crown? Remember Pharaoh? Remember the pictures of Obama dressed up as Pharaoh of Egypt? Oh, Remember the eclipse that passed directly over little Egypt? Uh Uh-huh. There's more to this than meets the eye with the shooting in Vegas. I think it ties directly to Obama, and Obama is coming back. And that's what that message was. I'll get into that more on Friday. Anyway, thanks a lot, Larry, for coming on. I guess Mighty Kim has still not shot off any missiles, right? Not yet, but he's still threatening to nuke the U.S. Well, he'll probably get around to it here pretty soon. Uh, I I think this is all scripted, and when the time comes... Uh, we're done. Anyway, thanks a lot, Larry, for coming on, and uh, thanks, everybody, for listening, and we'll have a much longer program uh, tomorrow night. Anyway, good night.